throughout the world, numerous ancient tribes exist that have retained their ancient traditions which have been passed down from one generation to the next. For those who think black women can't grow hair past their shoulders, it's time to change that impression. There are some women with Rapunzel-like hair right here in Africa. That's a myth. No, it's not a myth. Neither is it history. This is Afterworld. Thanks for watching. Afterworld is taking you to Chad to meet the ethnic group called the Basara Arabs. The defining feature of the women of this tribe is their naturally coarse, long, fizzy hair, which often reaches their thighs. They coat their hair with a homemade mixture of ingredients that keeps it extremely hydrated, super moisturized, and lubricated. This stops it from breaking right from their childhood. The key to maintaining them that long, chebe, an Asian hair care ritual that's been practiced by the ancestors for centuries. They believe Chebe is a gift left in the mountain by God so it can bring down their hair to great lengths because they consider healthy, beautiful long hair as the ultimate symbol of femininity and vitality. In the Rocky Mountains of Chad's Goera region is the native plant Chebe, which produces the rat hued flower bats called. Crotten Gratissimus. The tree is believed to be a magic tree with magical powers. From February to April, its seeds are harvested and then sun dried, winnowed, and roasted. For the traditional ritual of Chebe, Chebe seeds are grilled and then pounded with a wooden pestle and mortar into a circle fine powder. During the Chebe ritual, older women typically apply the hair treatment for younger members of the tribe. To prepare the treatment before application, a woman will set out three bowls, one containing water, the second with Chebe powder and the third with a mix of oil and butter, typically shea butter and sesame oil. Then, between alternating layers of the water and blend of oil and butter, she will spread the Chebe powder through sections of the loved one's hair generously, from roots to tips, for maximum moisture while meticulously braiding the hair into long plates that trail all the way down the back. It is said, the traditional Achebe powder ritual is an extremely long, time-consuming and labor-intensive process that requires at least an entire day if you want to follow all the steps. While typically performed a few times a week, Chebe, like many Chadian beauty rituals, can also mark different rites of passage, such as when a young girl reaches puberty or becomes a mother. These customary gatherings between family members ensure that their centuries-old recipes and rituals are preserved and passed on by each new generation. The intricate small braids along the hairline and middle patterns, which are sometimes adorned with jewelry, are called gorone. They are designed for edge control and to keep patterns neat and are also symbolic. Two braids in the middle instead of one is exclusive to married women. A big large forehead is considered a sign of beauty in Chad. Want to grow your hair that long? Why not grab some chebe? And let me know your progress in the comment section. Stay safe, stay blessed, and catch you in the next video. Shalom, peace.